Hello, Positive Filter listeners, viewers, friends. Um, I'm not going to be on here too long, uh, but I have a project that I'm doing for Toastmasters, which I think, you know, I'm always a person that's multitasking, trying to kill two birds with one stone. And I want to think about, as I create this project for Toastmasters, also helping my listeners and viewers, uh, particularly uh, the ones that are following along with Positive Filter and all those things. So, just to give you an explanation, uh, Toastmasters is a program that I participate in, which has helped me become a better public speaker. Uh, it is an opportunity for anyone out there that wants to become a better public speaker. You can find a club, you get to join a club and practice both formalized speaking as well as impromptu speaking. And so I joined about four years ago now, before years in July, and it's really helped me become a more confident, more organized and more rehearsed public speaker. And so I encourage you or anyone out there that's listening or viewing this later to consider joining Toastmasters. If you have any questions about the organization, let me know. I'm a member of two clubs. Shout out to George Mason Toastmasters, as well as a newly launched club, Alpha Toastmasters. So if you have any questions, if you're a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and you want to join an exclusive Toastmasters club for Alpha, hit me up. Or if you have any questions about Toastmasters in general, please hit me up. So for this project, um, I'm poised to create a podcast and then present it to my club. So I'm going to be presenting this later in the future to my club, George Mason Toastmasters. But I wanted to create a podcast that actually has content that I be believe is relevant to my club and relevant to everyone else. So I specifically told you that I'm a member of Toastmasters and I specifically told you the two clubs that I'm a member of, George Mason, as well as Alpha. And so what this topic is about is how do I network within an organization? So I, I am a, people have told me I'm a great networker. I love talking. I love meeting new people. Uh, and for those that are not like me or extroverted, it could be very challenging. So I usually always say, start within your tribe. So I'm going to ask you all, if you're listening to this podcast or watching this later, or if you're watching it right now, I want you to make a list of every community that you are already a member of. So organization, you can even say family organization. So I want you to make a list because before we go out and network, we also need to understand what communities are we already a member of. So I want you to write a list, write a list of all the organizations, you know, uh, and if I was doing this, I would put Jane's Family, George Mason University, uh, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Toastmasters International. Write out a list of all your organizations. Because step one of understanding the networking aspect is understand what tribe you already belong to. I find that extremely helpful before I go out to new spaces is I think of who, who do I already have in my touch point? Who do I, can I already reach? Right? That's one. Number two is then as you identify the networks that you are already a part of, then think of who do you want to talk to within that organization? So thinking about tapping in, everyone that's a part of your organization is within earshot or within reach. Now, does that mean everyone in that organization is going to answer you? Absolutely not. But at least everyone in that category has some form of connection to you so that when you introduce yourself to someone new, you already have common ground. So I'll give you an example. Before I go to any convention for Alpha, I already know that I'm going to meet brothers that are like me. So already I can walk up to any brother within the convention of Alpha, and we already have a shared communicate. We already have a shared bond within the brotherhood. How does that work digitally? Well, I join a bunch of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity groups that I have someone, I can DM anyone. I can DM with confidence, DM any brother of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity incorporated, and at least introduce myself to that said brother because of the shared connection. Does that mean that brother will respond to me or we will become friends or anything? No, but I already know that I have an end. 
So I use that. I use that in. I say, hey, brother so-and-so, my name is brother Philip Wilkerson, a member of Theta Rho Lambda, Fall 17. I already have a thing. I can introduce myself. We have a common bridge. For someone else, if it's in Toastmasters, go to a public Toastmasters Facebook group. You can DM anyone in that group and say, hey, my name is Philip Wilkerson. I'm a member of Toastmasters within George Mason, as well as Alpha File for Toastmasters. And boom. So you've already built a bridge and you can ask anyone any question. So always do that. How does it work in the physical space? I always wear the branding of that organization, wear a pen, because organically on the inverse is that uh, when someone sees me out and about, if I have a Toastmasters pen or an Alpha pen or a George Mason shirt, I am branding myself with that organization and allowing an opportunity for connections in that space, if that makes sense. So step one, write out a list of all the organizations that you're a member of. Step two, think of ways that you can introduce yourself to other members of said organization using that first line, type it out. You know, I have it written out. Hi, my name is, introduce yourself, but introduce yourself, insert the part of the organization. I mean, and we can even go to family, reach out to someone. Hey, I'm cousin so-and-so, part of the James family, right? You can do, use that as your intro. And then number three, I would say for this, just to have, you know, concise about being within an organization, contribute to the conversation of that organization. So I told you about directly reaching out to people, but join the group discussions as it pertains to um, Alpha or George Mason. Find public digital spaces and don't just scroll and be on the sideline. Contribute, comment, add content. Um, if you're a, if there's a Facebook group, write comments. Um, if there is a Microsoft Teams group for an organization, contribute, contribute comments and questions and dialogue. Because when you contribute to the dialogue of an organization organically within that organization, you're building your network. So I tell people like we have our own Microsoft Teams group for George Mason Toastmasters. I encourage everyone that's a member of the George Mason teams to contribute, contribute content that makes sense with Toastmasters, but contribute ask questions, you know, write a, you know, write a comment. Hey, I'm confused about this topic. How would you do this? How do you do these levels? I have to do a podcast project. Has anyone ever done the podcast project for Toastmasters before? So by you contributing to the conversation of that organization, you're building your network within that organization. I can go another example, Eastern Ace. I'm a member of Eastern Ace. Contribute to that. You know, add questions. Hey, I'm confused about this, or I'm looking forward to the conference. Anyone else is going to be there. And so by doing so, you, people are going to come to you and, and, and connect with you. So sometimes the work of you, you don't have to do as much outreach. You can do a lot of receiving and build your network. So hopefully that was helpful for you, those three tips. Um, I'm going to be sharing this later for those that want to watch it or listen to it on Positive Filter Short Takes. Hopefully this is helpful, thinking about building your network within an organization. In review, list all the organizations you're a member of. Craft your intro or introduction to other members within that organization. And number three, contribute to the dialogue contribute to the organization with your voice. By doing those, I guarantee you, you will build a reputation within the organization and build a brand and network with people. So if you have any questions, follow up with me. Thank you for uh, supporting all my endeavors. Happy to help. Have a nice day.